Hello, my name is Christopher Gino. Uh, I am uh, your director. I'm also playing Eddie. I'm Jeff. I'm um, doing Phil. Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah, and I'm playing Bonnie. Zach. <laughs> I'm playing Mickey. Hi, my name is Otto. As you Hi. know, how you doing? Um, I am producing this and also playing Artie. Right? Actually, that's the name. Right. <laughs> and uh, my, uh, my uh, cool trick is I can do that. That's yeah. Right. Is, uh, David Rabe's Early Early. Right now what I want to do is uh, read through. We're going to read through the play for the first time. Uh, I'm going to do the read through a little bit different than uh, you have done before. Rather than read our characters, what I want to do is go around the circle one line at a time. Um, and we're going to read through the, the play that way, uh, including um, scene descriptions. So while we're doing this, I want you to feel absolutely no obligation and no urge or desire to act at all. I want you to read this entirely for sense. I want you to be thinking about the words, what they mean, what the characters' relationships are to each other, uh, how does it make you feel, what are the immediate circumstances prior to the scene beginning. I'm judging what today is, I think today has been really, really cool. But looking forward, being that you know visionary, looking towards the future, what is the level that is required of you? It takes a little bit, something extra maybe. It's so easy to go up and, and be good, you know, be average. For us who have been trained, who, who, who take it seriously, we can roll out of bed and be good. What does it take to be really, really great, you know? Keep going. Did your shoulders get tense, let them loose? For everyone is just uh, they're very uncertain about themselves so they all they look to each other for fur right? right no okay well, let's look it up <laughs> um, they, yeah. they have very low expectations like mm -hmm. every time they're like oh this always happens or i don't want this to happen they're like well it always happens like that uh, a sort of survival level of of things it seems like they're always really just getting by they're working yeah. on survival only there are you know that some of them have might have dreams or whatever fantasies, but we are working at a level of, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm out for myself, and if anyone, you know, gets in my fucking way, you know, you don't have friends. You know, friends are a luxury that you don't necessarily get at this level. And they never get that to the deep, to the root of things. Even no, Darlene, because yeah, Darlene yeah. avoids getting right. to the root of things. Right. And that's a really important, I think, to, to think because it is a, you as the actor have to get to the root of things. The character will not. Um, Eddie always backs Phil up no matter what, it yeah. seems like. And even when Mickey's trying to be the voice of reason, sure. it seems like he'll supersede any sort of reason to back Phil up. Right? I see Mickey as being kind of the, the most sensible one, I guess, of the group. Um, sure. So I think that... I don't know if it's animosity or if it's maybe just a bit of uh, superiority towards Phil in right. that sense. You are intimidated by the, the look that Phil is giving you. Absolutely. So what was he in prison for 
was it dangerous? Was yeah. it armed something? Was it with a gun? Was it with his fists? Something that you feel you don't want to test him on. Okay. That's going to that's going to, you know, affect how your character reacts to him. Do we care that uh is sixteen? I don't know. Donna is yeah, Donna is sixteen. The the unfortunate answer is no. Um, we don't know necessarily that she is 16. She's not wearing a badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 16. We know she's young. Though. Okay. But no, you know, so it looks like we don't. So what kind of person that does that? The, the only thing that I would say to you in this is um, it's, uh, it is really, really important to, you know, tough as it might seem, to not judge your characters. You don't want to judge your characters and you don't want to... You... you can disagree with them. What is it in your life that led you to this thing where you don't care? Yeah. Is it just because you're a horrible person? I would, I would, I would posit that the answer is no. Middle of the '80s, there's a certain animosity towards Artie because he's this straight lace. He's worked for what he's got, but they're right in the heart of '80s, bigger, better, faster. Mm -hmm. And your character has this thing with the TV and how how it's polluting them. They're all they're all delusional. How to prepare cocaine. How to prepare exercise. and do cocaine. But it's all about getting the cocaine up in your nose quick as possible. That's about it. Uh, I'd actually oh, like uh, uh, Sarah and Jeff to be partners. Ooh. And we're going to be partners. And then, mm -hmm. and then we're going to, so briefly, we're, we're going to be doing cocaine. cocaine. So we, we, we so take a little rocks, rock, some rocks, and we chop it up. Right? That's what yep. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. And really, you know, yeah, we're, we're doing it for each other. I'm going to be friendly with the chef. That's good. So it's good. Stop. This is like a, this is like a group size. <laughs> That's and a group size. size. For one, one Phil and Bonnie size. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is sugar, right? This room. Yeah. Plunger knows that. Did you do your teeth? Did you do your teeth? Oh, I didn't even no, no, do, oh, do, yeah. do the teeth. 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 Do the Sugar on the drip. All right, and now, and now, because hold on now, because uh, she's a virtuous person, you gotta offer, you gotta pass it over a little bit. And there you go. Let him know that he's allowed to take some. Right. He was only yeah. extra long for that extra. <laughs> that extra. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's still going. Right. It's still coming in. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how we do cocaine. All right. I love my job. All right, that was good. That was good. That was right. a little, uh, little bonding experience, right? Yeah. All right. Some, uh, some really cool stuff in Arizona, and he... Maybe, okay. Honey.
Don't worry about it. What? Uh, don't worry about it. Whoa, I calm down. Okay. 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 What? Honey, I mean, I, who are you talking to? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it actually doesn't. I, re I, I really need to know. So stop. You were actually doing kind of two actions. You did, um, you started out like this bright, like, you know, kind of, hey, everything's okay. And then as you sat down, as the emotion kind of took over you, it became a little bit more heartfelt. It became, the action sort of shifted to like, now I know, daddy, whatever. So to the extent that we can clarify that, how can you feel that emotion and still keep the, the, the brightness without changing the action? Right. That's where it becomes really fucking fascinating for me in play. Is yeah. can, we, can, we, can we clarify and, and, and you do that one action without changing it while still having all of this emotional, really intense shit underneath? Can we? That's, so that was really cool. And it was really cool that I got to see that. What are they doing and how do I feel about it? Not a comment on how I feel about it. Mm. Is that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The little bit, what the fuck, is a comment on how do I feel. I feel bad, therefore I'm going to say, what the fuck. As opposed to, I feel bad, what the fuck. I feel bad. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, he's an enemy. Uh, 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 a little bit more urgency. The relationship for you is best friend. Best friend. Okay. When she treats you differently, don't anticipate it. Mm -hmm. But when she treats you differently, how does that feel? Please stop. I need to talk to you. We got five seconds. That's a plan. Do it then. I need you to sit down. Okay. No, I, I, I honestly, I'm sorry. For what? I can't talk to you right now! Why? I'm doing something! What? What are you doing? It doesn't fucking matter! Buddy, will you stop, like, dismissing me like oh. I'm nobody? That's good. I'm gonna need you to leave. Now I have to leave? Yes. So what are you gonna do? I'm not leaving, buddy. I'm not leaving. Then just shut up! A little bit you should be thinking, what the fuck is so important? A little bit. You don't have to ask him that, but you should be thinking that. You go back to what you were doing. Honey, we're gonna do Honey, so please stop. Yeah. What? I am fucking worried about you. What do you need from her? I'm worried about you is a little bit, again, it was really good, it was really connected, but a little bit it's... Uh, I want to sit here and talk about our feelings. But mm -hmm. you're not here to talk about your feelings. You're here to get her to go to rehab. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just a little bit, that was that was not the moment. That was okay. really, that was, it was good though. 